What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nate. I own a custom integration company, meaning I help people implement technology into their homes and businesses. We work with all your favorite major brands in the smart home world, including Lutron, Sonos, Ubiquiti, Sony, everyone that you can think of, we install their products. We do everything from your networking to your smart home equipment, golf simulators, home theaters, surveillance, and everything in between. This video, you're going to see us install a whole bunch of Ubiquiti cameras. I'm going to level with you. It was 100 degrees that day, and I did a pretty poor job filming it. Uh, I'm doing this intro to help try and bring up the production value of this video a little bit. Uh, I have to come up with a better system when we're on site filming. When it's hot like that, and we're crawling around an attic. It is tough for me to film. Uh, but not giving excuses, I will come up with a better way and we'll get some better content out for you at the same time. In this video, we did a AI PTZ from Ubiquity paired with two uh, AI domes on either side of it. Now the client had purchased this equipment on their own, realized that they couldn't get the cables where they needed to for them and they wanted someone to professionally install it. We came in, we got everything mounted for them and we helped them with the setup in Protect to show them how you can use the AI information coming in on those turrets on either end to feed that PTZ. Uh, it was a very cool project. I was very impressed with the AI PTZ. The size of it is uh, was shocking to me when we actually got there and started bringing it up the ladder to install. We're also going to talk about the G6 PTZ. Ubiquity was nice enough to send us one, which we have been playing around with here at our office. The camera is awesome. Uh, the patrol mode is probably the best part in it for us. Um, I have a clip here of us setting it up so you can kind of see the stepper motors moving inside of it. We will do a whole separate video where we're going to install this at our office here, uh, and we'll take you through the whole process of actually installing it mainly because I didn't do a great job of documenting how to install in general the cameras that we put in on this site, but especially the AIPTZ. Um, there's quite a bit that went into it. So I'm going to do a voiceover with the clips as well. Uh, but always thank you for tuning in, checking out our video. We do have a link for your smart home guide in the description below. If you're building a house, it's your ultimate checklist to make sure you don't miss anything that is going to cost you down the road if you're trying to add equipment like this later. We also have an affiliate link for Ubiquity below. It helps our channel out a ton if you utilize that when you're buying your equipment. And lastly, leave me a comment on this video telling me your favorite Ubiquity camera. I'd love to see what everyone else prefers or chooses to be their own. Uh, we install a lot of the same thing over and over again, and I'd love to see what you like to install in your home. All right, so let's dive into this project. The client had a rack in the basement with a full stack of Ubiquity equipment already. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this, he had bought all the equipment, including the cameras for us to install and was just looking for the installation portion. So what we're gonna do to get Cat6 cable from the basement to the attic so that we can cover out of those soffits with the cameras. So we're gonna run three quarter inch conduit penetrating out of the basement all the way up to the attic. We pulled six cables through this three quarter inch, which is about the max that you can really get away with. Um, we go through and we always put a string line in as well for future proof. If anything ever happens, uh, you could always use one of those cables as pull line as well. We're very meticulous when we do conduit. Uh, we recognize that most people in residential don't want conduit on the side of their house. So we try and make sure everything is plumb and as straight as possible. Make sure that your uh, writing on your PVC conduit is faced away and you don't see it. Little things like that, people tend to appreciate in our experience when we're doing that. So we use a three quarter inch LB to exit. Uh, in this particular instance, we were fortunate that we were on the back side of the house following the joist. So we were able to just penetrate right up through the soffit into the eave. If you are on the side of your house, opposite of your joist, you're going to need to do an LB on both sides uh, as you won't typically be able to get into the eave through the soffit with your conduit. So here you see us just starting our pull with all six cables going out into that LB. Pat has that string line tied off now as well. We're going to pull that all the way up into the attic. 
Now, the majority of these cameras were AI turrets, which we mounted in the soffits in multiple spots throughout the home. And then we have that big AI PTZ in the back. Yeah, up, oh, up. Oh. Got it. All right, there's quite a bit. Getting into soffits is by far the hardest part of getting your cameras anywhere that you need them to be. Uh, what I like to do is run a fish rod out from the outside in so that we know where it is, and then we'll fish it back down through so that you don't have to climb into this corner of the attic. So as you can see here, getting into those corners stinks. Uh, it was, like I mentioned, 100 degrees today. It was so hot. That's a nice sweat angel laying on the ground out there. Not sponsored by Liquid IV, but I would love if someone would hit me up and start giving us some kind of salt-based water drink for us to consume while we're out on these job sites in this humid New England weather. So here's the AI PTZ. You're going to watch me struggle to pull this thing out of the box with one hand while I'm using the camera. It's enormous. This is one of the coolest Ubiquiti cameras we've had the pleasure of installing. Ironically, this is on a residential site, but paired with the AI turrets we have on either corner, this is going to be a very cool piece of equipment. And here are just some shots of it up. So we ended up doing lags uh, into the band board on the top there, and then we use a easy board, uh, which laps up under the siding to give us a flat mounting point. This camera is cool. So it picks up anything from those AI turrets, feeds it to the PTZ, spins it around. The stepper motors were very smooth. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. I'll see you next week.